This is the heavy attack. Let's try that. That heavy attack is crazy. And so we have a brand new weapon in Save the World today. It is called the Surround Pound. Now, content has been taking forever to even try and upload because this game is still crashing and crashing and crashing. It's been nearly four weeks of the same issues of it crashing. I'm just hoping next week's patch or season 11 will stop it and they can get back to regularly uploading. Anyway, this is the Surround Pound. What exactly does it do so it's a hammer with a good attack speed and excellent impact it has base drop smash the ground creating a series of sonic pulses that damage and knock back enemies i'm not sure if that's like the ear splitter where you can hold it or it's just a one-time thing so we'll have to test that out these are the perks we have on it we've got a crit damage crit rating fire attack speed crit damage and the last perk is stunning or knocking back an enemy makes the husks dance around them which i quite like that because hammers tend to do a lot of impact anyway so we have 29,000 damage, 65% crit chance, 297.5% crit damage. Those numbers are a bit weird because I have some legendary um, perks, some epic perks on there. I don't have enough um, legendary perk to fully perk this up. 0.71 attack speed, that shouldn't be too much of a problem because of our hero build. And we have 4,000 impact. Now let's have a quick look at our hero build. So the build I've opted to go for with the surround pound is... Guardian Penny as my commander, so it increased the overall hardware crit rating by 50. So we're going to be critting even more frequently than we would be doing anyway. We then have Totally Rocking Out, just so the rocking riff we get increases our crit rating and heals us, which is very nice. We then have Battle Beat, so eliminating 10 enemies in 9 seconds grants rocking riff. Now, hopefully, if they haven't patched this, because when she came out, if you used a melee weapon, it would actually be 5 enemies in 9 seconds in support and 2 enemies in 9 seconds as a commander. Now, hopefully, it hasn't been patched because it might make this a little bit harder to use Rockin' Rift, but if not, we'll be completely fine. So yeah, that's why I have her on it. And then we have subwafers as well, just so harvesting metal objects, it basically gives us a subwafer we can consume. It's much better for testing it against smashes when I want to activate Rockin' Rift right there, right now in that exact moment I should say although it did get a nerf and it doesn't seem to exactly have a 32% drop chance anymore but we'll get some sub wafers and we have maximum overload just to increase our kinetic overload damage by 50% actuated attacks just to increase the hardware damage by 17% and then we have survivalist just so there's even less chance of us going down so we're going to use this build and take the weapon into a mission and just see how good it actually is right I'm in a twine mission, power 140, all on my own, because I know a lot of you guys always ask me to do it solo in a 140 mission. I just want to test just the swing and all that on these guys, so that's quite nice. Quite strong, considering their levels. Oh, I th oh no, it hasn't been patched. That was not 10 enemies in 9 seconds, so it hasn't been patched. Right, that was so far so good. That was a very little test that I do want a much bigger horde, and I've just remembered it is actually fire, so nature enemies will actually be better okay we've got some nature enemies um let's just do, try the heavy attack that's what we want to test let's try that heavy attack i'm not sure what it is if it's like the air splitter or not no it's not like whoa it's not like the air splitter but what on earth was that oh whoa whoa, whoa i've got a i need to reset i need to reset this i want to just try that on the blasters because that heavy attack was fantastic that did a lot of damage i'm gonna go down here let's just heal up a little bit Right, eat this. Here we go. No, that didn't work. I don't even know what's happening here. I probably should have put um, heavy attack efficiency. That heavy attack is strange. It's like um, three pulses. It fires three pulses all in a row. Just test that again. It's very strong. I don't think I'll use the heavy attack for it though. As much. It's, it seems good, but I don't know. It uses a lot of energy and it's it doesn't feel that accurate, but that is still really strong. Wow. So we've gone into a public session that's not very public. Now I'm going to quickly try and do a smasher test. Oh, that is good. Doesn't necessarily do a ton of damage, but it counters that smash that it does. Wow. Right. So it's been it's like 40 minutes after that last mission, but nobody is online at all so i've settled with this mission it's a bit lower power than the other ones we were doing but let's just straight get into this oh he's awake let's do a smasher test but when he stopped charging here we go right smasher test eat this let's go 
Now it doesn't, okay, it doesn't necessarily do that much damage, but the stun him, that makes him dance, especially because I swear it made the smasher dance earlier, or the bit of impact on the last mission, I think that's quite good. I'm quite um, liking this. I'm thinking it's somewhat similar to the mic drop. Do I still have a mic drop? I don't. Definitely the, the swing is exactly the same. It really is. I wonder if the heavy attack sets off the pain. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. That heavy attack, though, is amazing. Let's just get a, a train of husks. Here we go. No, why is that set off? I think that one's set off because I actually hit it directly rather than um, hitting it with the sound thingy. Anyway, let's just eat this. I don't know if the heavy attack works in this, but this is the heavy attack. Let's try that. That heavy attack is crazy. Leaves a little pool of stuff and it makes them dance. I really like that heavy attack, but I don't think I'd build it for the heavy attack. Let's do another smasher test, but with the heavy attack only. Let's try that. Oh, wow. Oh, can nearly kill it in a single heavy, but in terms of damage, it doesn't feel that strong. But because it's making them dance and it's somewhat stalling and knocking back smashes quite a lot, and the heavy attack's quite neat, I don't know. I'm not sure if this will become one of my main weapons. That is really cool. That is absolutely crazy. Let's just try this storm chest on my own. Let's see if I can do a storm chest all on my own. Oh, we got there in time. With this weapon. Come on, Husks, where are you? Hopefully, a few kills every nine seconds. Get rocking, Riff. Increase our attack speed. Okay, why is hardly anything spawning on a storm chest? There's usually loads of enemies. Come on. Yeah, the damage doesn't seem to be there, if I'm honest. Doesn't feel too strong. 48,000, maybe on crit will be better. 119,000. Hmm... Not too sure. I might compare this if I've got one. Maybe with another hardware weapon in my backpack. If I have one pre-crafted. Maybe that's the best way to test this out. But so f I'm very indecisive with this. I'm feeling... Against husks, it's okay. I think we're one hit in the husks. No, we had a shield on. But, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily do a ton of damage, this weapon. But it has a really cool heavy attack. Saying that, it could be really good down trap tunnels. It could be a very good weapon to hit down a trap tunnel as well, which could be really... We didn't even finish that storm chest completely. But down a um, trap tunnel, yes. I'm just thinking, does it go through walls? Let me test that out. Because if it does, that could stop... Hus Say if you're at the end of a trap tunnel like here, the propane tanks or exploders, they're going to be thrown at you. But if you're behind a wall, if it goes through, that would be really cool. It does go through. Okay. That is really nice to know that it does penetrate as well. So it doesn't set explorers and it penetrates. How about if you're a tile above, does it actually drop down? It does, so you could go on top of your tunnel as well. I think that's going to be the best one to do, going on top of your tunnel. Because I don't really ever recall um, exploders throwing things upwards when you're not in their direct line of sight. So... This could be good, but overall damage. Let's just test the swing speed compared with this. This is the only other hard weapon I've got. I think it's a slightly bit faster, but let's look at the damage as well. 360k. This isn't going to do as much, but I don't know. I don't think it's the best melee weapon. I was going to say in the game, then, but in this set, it's probably not the best melee in this set. I'm thinking... The mic drop. Mic drop or air split, they're the other, only the two uh, melees, but air split I'm going to say actually just because of that heavy attack it's got to buff yourself and nearby allies. Quite like the air split. Right, I'm going to get building a track and building the defense, and we'll get back to you when we're doing the mission. <sighs> Maybe this one won't crash on me because I delivered the bomb, crashed at the end, and I lost all the footage, which is so annoying. I'm sick of the crashing with this game. That is the exact reason I'm doing like one video a week instead of seven like I used to. But I, I do like the impact on this. I have got to say, I like... Because there's a lot of impact on it. You're going to be knocking back enemies. You're going to be making the ones around you dance quite frequently, which is fantastic. But look at my health. 
I've got it. I don't think it's the best melee in the set. I'm going to go with the Air Splitter on that. Air Splitter or... I don't know. I'm torn between Air Splitter and Mike Joe, but I'm going to say Air Splitter. Can I hit you, please? Just because it has that really unique heavy attack which buffs yourself and nearby allies. That was really good. Took a bit more damage than I hoped. Going to get a, one last bit of using the heavy... Oh! What do I see in the distance? A nature smasher. Maybe we can get a smasher test in a solo mission with this nature smasher. Let me just heal up so we're not getting one hit. Let's go all the way over here. Right, here we go. Smasher test on a nature smasher. Let's try this. Mm. Again, for things like this, I don't think it's good. Like, definitely not a smasher. Like, but tell you what. We do, we stun it quite a lot though, that's what I mean, it's not good for the damage, like quite a lot of the weapons in this set are not good for damage, but they're good for waves and hordes. This is definitely one of those, because it stuns quite a lot, it makes them dance if you get that stun off as well. And I think it's really good in that sense, not for damage though, that's why I don't think a smasher test is the best thing for it. Hordes like this, I think are best for it. Heavy attack. Okay, I didn't really get much of it. Ah, I don't think you can do it when you're this close to them. Yeah, heavy attack doesn't seem to work right in front of you. It seems to work at a range. There we go. Got a bit of impact. Make him dance. Let's try and see if we can make him dance again. Oh, maybe there's a little timer on it. I think there's a timer on the dance. There you go. Make him dance again, though. The heavy attack is quite cool. The more I'm using it, the more I'm thinking the heavy attack is better than the primary. Let's try it again. Heavy attack the smasher. Okay. That, try again. Ooh, was that... Did we do like 200,000 multiple times then? That was quite good if we did. I'm... I'm mm, I wonder if you can hit them twice with it. That's what I'm trying to try here. Maybe if you can get the little pulsing things to hit the smasher twice. Oh, I'm not too sure if you can. Maybe you can. If I get a bit closer, maybe. No, I'm going to get hit. Yeah, it's just... It had no, it's, yeah, look at the health. It's a very difficult one to use that heavy attack. But overall, this weapon feels much more of a horde clearer. Just because of the dancing and... It's good. The heavy attack as well. It's a ranged heavy attack. That's what I'm trying to think of it. Definitely not good for smashes, though. And so that was the surround pound. Now, that took four missions to get even a bit of gameplay just because of the bugs and the crashing. It is an absolute pain, and we lost all the footage from that Deliver the Bomb mission, which was kind of annoying. But I'm going to say, for damage, it's awful for damage. The heavy attack is quite neat. I feel like if you stand on top of trap tunnels and hit it like that, I think it would be really good down trap tunnels because... The, this weapon set, do, they don't set off um, propane per tanks. Well, the heavy attacks on melees don't set off propane tanks. And the regular attacks on the range weapons don't set off propane tanks either, which is very, very nice. Now, you could, again, you could run into hordes and use this, keep swinging and swinging. You get that rocking riff if you opt to pull it on. But I, against smashes, you see where there's such limited damage in there. But... That's all really I can take from this because it's so difficult to play the game at the moment. So I'm going to leave this here. Let me know what you guys thought of the surround pound. And as always, thank you for watching.